Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we want we want to show you how to install MSF console, which is your Metasploit, in a Linux system where you don't have it available. Like Metasploit is the one of the most uh, popular pen test framework, but if you get uh, say Ubuntu or CentOS, right, you are not going to have that pre-installed. You will have it pre-installed in a Kali machine in a Parrot environment, uh, but not in a regular uh, Linux VM. So let's show you how you can do it. It's pretty straightforward the solution process. The first thing uh, you need to get, uh, let's see if I can get a notepad or maybe a browser. And uh, really, uh, this product it was purchased by Rapid7, and you need to get the Rapid7 signing key for that one. Okay. So let's just to uh, make sure that we have internet connection. Come on. Start a new session maybe. Okay. Met uh, split. And uh, there is a GitHub repository. There are multiple ways to install this one. Okay. And you can uh, spend a little bit of time looking at the downloads, looking at different person, which one you need. Uh, what we will do, we are going to go and uh, run a command okay and i'm kind of explain what the command actually does uh when we're going to run the command and i'm going to give you the command and uh, you can just run it from this particular command line okay so first of all if we run the msf console it says hey it's not there it's not found and the command that we will be running is a little long but you don't have to remember that when i'm going to give it to you it is really going to go to this url right it's going to go to the github content of rapid 7 is going to commit a split omnibus repository to the master uh, repository and it's getting some stuff done and once the stuff is uh, done it's running msf install command and it's going to change the permission of some of the files and then complete the installation process okay so let's see if this actually works so what i did i just hit enter it's asking for my sudo password and I just provided and what it did, it added the Metasploit framework to the repository list. Okay. Now what is going on? It is uh, updating my repo and then it's now downloading uh, whatever I need to download to uh, make the installation go nicely. Okay. And typically, these packages that that we're gonna we're gonna download as part of the process, they are going to be comparable with the native packages that we have uh, within the system. And hopefully, uh, we can also do we can just run MSF update anytime we want to update our Metasploit. So uh, it's forty five percent done. Looks like total is two hundred ninety seven MB. If you're downloading the Windows packet, that's about the same size, uh, close to 260, 270, something like that. Uh, and I have a different video where I have actually shown you how to install it in a Windows environment. If you are a Windows user, you prefer to use Windows for your pen testing work, you can absolutely do that. And Metasploit is also supported in Windows, also supported in the Mac version as well. And as a matter of fact, you can probably use the method that we're using uh, and try it and see if it's actually working. But they do have, uh, you know, installer for the for the Mac as well. So it looks like the inst the download is done. Okay, it took in my internet connection took one minute and six seconds. And uh, what it's doing right now it's unpacking the framework. So what you're really installing is the Metasploit framework. And while this is going on, we can go to this. So what you are Installing is really the Metasploit framework, which is the open source free version. If you want the Metasploit Pro, you can also do that and you can get a 30 day free trial. If you want to know what are the main differences between these two products, you can click on compare features and that's going to give you the different uh, features and what's available with one and what's available with the developers and the security researchers one. This is the one that we're downloading. Okay, so don't worry about any payment here. But if you do need some additional features like uh, your network discovery and basic exploitation, 
meta modules uh, integration with remote api you wanna you wanna go with this and then you have a lot of automation capabilities with the with the pro version and uh, infiltrate the whole bunch that are also available over here that could be useful to you now let's go back to our window looks like it's still unpacking so i'm going to pause the video for a second oh it looks like it's all almost done so now the unpacking one once it's done it is running the msf console to get started uh, and this is the con this is the command that you will be running to bring up the msf console or the metasploit okay so it says uh, hey, run this to get started so that's what we're going to do uh, let's just clear the screen first and we'll do we'll just keep the up arrow a few times till we get to the msf console so once when we started remember that it said that there is nothing like msf console available in my system now it's saying hey welcome to the metasploit framework initial setup please answer a few questions to get started so would you like to use the setup with a new database uh, recommended i think yes you should always use that if you look at the kali machine it comes with a pre-installed postgres sql and once you when you type this command msf console kali is actually configures all the database connections users passwords all of that stuff for you so i'm gonna say yes here let's see yes is an approved answer so it's thinking would you like to use instead of a new database i said yes would you like like to init the web services uh it says not required so i'm just gonna go with the default app option and hit enter now what it's doing clearing up the web data service credentials since msf console and uh, hopefully it will set up the database for us so what we really want here here's the database and that's the default location by the way when it creates the database it creates the database under the dot msf4 that that folder gets created in your home folder it says the database creation is successful authentication configuration file is successful and uh, once all of them are successful it's an initial database schema creation was also successful so those are important things okay so what it's saying my metasploit is good excellent so one thing you can run i always recommend that you do is db status and verify that see it's connected to msf connection type is postgres sql so if you watched my video for the windows one when we installed the windows and we ran this command this connection failed now it it doesn't mean that you can use your metasploit if there is no database you absolutely can but having the database makes your life so much easier you, you can import data from other type of scans you can run a scan now and directly import data to the database and then when you run your host command okay all of the addresses that you're scanning they will show up it will make your pen testing experience uh, much easier better okay so i highly recommend that you uh, take care of the database setup and again what I would also recommend, uh, just do ls lah, and you should see that dot msf4. So let's get inside that folder and see what we have. If I do a ls here, you see there are a whole bunch of files that got created. Okay, this is the file database.yml where a lot of information are stored. So let's take a quick look at database.yml yml and this is the important stuff okay and this is the password you don't want to share it with anyone and uh, you should change the database uh, they change the password as well but the default by default when you when you run the msf console and i say and you, you say okay yeah go ahead and set the connection this is what is going on okay it is creating the database uh, username and password it's saying hey the database will be running uh, the local host this is the port is the pool okay so if you want to change something like that uh, go back to this one and you should have access to everything okay before we end the video uh, let's msf console and uh, let's do a uh, help real quick make sure the helps are available typically everything 
pretty much all Linux commands or Linux based utilities they have the help make sure that you go to the help at least uh, good point you, you understand different features that we have and the last thing that I typically do always is check the version make sure uh, the version 6 is installed at this time of, of, of this video I think we're using version 6 point something yeah it's for 6.2.23 so we're good and that should this one msf6 that is also telling us that we are using the version 6 so that's about it for the video i'm going to give you the commands that we have run and you can install the metasfly in your own linux environment by the way i have used the ubuntu uh, for this demonstration and if you want to ubuntu then hopefully you will not have any trouble thank you and good luck